Hey everyone, Eggman here with a, another video, and today we've got Thomas Lipman to talk about his uh, baby deck that he was able to get uh, top 16 with in Core TCG's Webcam Invitational this past weekend. How are you doing, Thomas? Good, how are you? Doing super well, and I'm, I'm really fortunate that you reached out to me, I, I really do appreciate it, and, uh, for, and even just talking before recording, I was like, you know, is this how the deck works? And you're like, yeah, but it also has these other things. And uh, I think it's just way better for you to explain the deck and go over, you know, all the things you, you built around it, all the, the chains and combos, and to really go from there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, my buddy loved your videos, so yeah, the reason why I was able to hit you up for sure. Well, then, then I, I love your buddy's patronage then, because it's uh, <laughs> really appreciative. But real quick, so Baby Vegeta has been around for like a year and a half. He was pretty popular and... Uh, was a pretty standard deck uh, in the meta that he came out with, and then he fell off pretty quick after that. It was like, a, what, the fall of 2019 is when he came out. Had the star deck leader of once per turn, choose one card for your life, switch it, or add it to your hand, you can switch this card to active mode, and when your life is at two or less, you can draw two, untap two cards, and flip them over, or sorry, and then uh, flip the card over, and on the back side, it has dual attack inherently, so it's, you know your leader can do three swings if you sequence it right, and then also auto once per turn when this card attacks, draw one. So just really aggressive. The idea is just to awaken super early, like on turn two, uh, and just have a bunch of aggression because of that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so the, and that, that's kind of like the idea. There's also just a bunch of uh, cards that really facilitated that, uh, especially like the cards uh, that you're running in here. We've got Pan Grade Ape Whisperer. And uh, SS4 Goku. SS4 Goku is still used today, and Pan's used, uh, I think people are attacking it into since Shenron, but just the idea of this Pan is that, uh, you know, if your life is at two or less when your leader activates Awaken, you can play this card for free. And Super Saiyan 4 Goku the same way, uh, as long as you have a, a red battle card with 25k power. It's not also exclusively red, as long as it's just at least a little bit red. Um, and the, the main kind of combo is that you can arrival out the Super Baby 1 for only one yellow, and then uh, you can then do the EX Evolve on top of the red promo, and then from there you can go into either the 7 drop uh, rare, which is just an EX Evolve for one red, one yellow on a 5 or more, or you could also do uh, the uh, 6 drop baby here as, as well. So that's kind of the, the main chain to go through, uh, and where the original aggression was at, um, but uh, we've come, we've kind of come a long way before that. Unisons didn't exist when this archetype kind of fell off the table, and uh, there's not only support for that, but we also got this this new uh, championship 2020 pack, um, which kind of kind of infamously these these cards were just very hard to acquire um, uh, for for a while. Um, but this this one kind of helps out the archetype, and this this one of the new cards I didn't really think about that you added for the deck. Uh, but auto when you play a red yellow multicolor baby card, you can play this card from your hand. So it's it's very easy to play this guy out. So if you do your rival play, which you're doing anyways, you can get him out. And then when this card is played, look up top seven cards from your deck. Add up to two cards with offerings goes among them to your hand. Shuffle your deck. If you added two cards to your hand, choose one card in your hand, discard it. And there's a bunch of cards in this deck with offering. The, uh, the big five drop and the big seven drop for sure, uh, or, which are kind of the, the main main reason like this deck was super powerful. Yeah, yeah it definitely uh, was the way you could kind of search it out rather than trying to keep them in your hand and mm -hmm. multicolor. Obviously, you don't want to tap out and be left with a bunch of 10Ks in your hand, so the baby Nimba kind of helped solve that issue. For sure, for sure. And uh, additionally, too, uh, you're running 60 cards in your deck, um, and, and this was the best of one. Do you think uh, do you think 60 was too inconsistent, or were you very happy with how consistency uh, you were able to see everything anyways? Yeah, I was happy with how consistent I actually was able to see everything. I tried to see if I can shave down some numbers, mm -hmm. but I just wanted to max out on certain cards, and it, there was no way to shave it down and put in the little text because mm -hmm. best of one you kind of have to play it different than best of three for sure so it for was sure. definitely good um there's only some minor changes i would do but other than that 60 cards was definitely uh worth it cool cool and so uh, another thing you kind of talked about is that uh I, I think part of the reason that this deck fell off was that there are more decks that were uh you know just as aggressive with it but had more recovery and more uh you know variants in their gameplay this deck was at, at the time it, it was popular it was really linear in what it does and it was kind of a glass cannon because of it uh but i think with this new two drop baby janimba there's some 
uh, new things that uh, you know you're that's available to you. And if you are playing against a really aggressive deck, you can kind of be uh, you know you can really account for that. Yeah, exactly. The the I mean the original concept was to get to the seven drop eight as fast as you can, mm-hmm. so you can rip all your life and go for game. But mm-hmm. with Dorman and Nimbus and everything, it's kind of I'm not gonna risk all my life to try and go on one turn and just lose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, with the baby Nimbus, you can go a different line of play. You can just go wide rather than go tall. Mm-hmm. And that's where that three drop baby comes in. Yeah, vengeful upheaval, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this EX so. evolves on a baby with any cost of two, and then for Uni Absorb for just one yellow, you can choose a Vegeta GT card in your hand or drop area, place it underneath this card, and you can choose up to one baby Vegeta Unfair Choice or the Super Baby One All Consuming. So you know the the one that you're already playing anyways for arrival if you need to, uh, but then also you're running with just one of these guys, but it's the baby Vegeta. Uh, you can choose one card in your hand, place in your drop area to choose one of your opponent's battle cards, ignoring barriers, switch to rest mode, uh, or choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, ignoring barrier, and, and KOing it. Yeah, exactly. So you, And with it coming back in active mode, that's how you can keep the aggression. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the unfair choice was a good choice if I did go against Invoker, because mm-hmm. it can kill the, um, the three-drop Vegeta, yeah. I think it's. So yeah, yeah. it was a way to uh, get around barrier, and then you kind of they lose the invoker part, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. or you can go back into another four drop. And since you got rid of your baby Nimba with the three drop, you can play another one. Yeah. So you kind of just went into a whole another combo again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because what you're saying is that because this this does have unique, but if you go if you ex evolve into this guy. And then you use Uni Absorb to go into the Super Baby One. You just played another Super, you know, a red yellow baby, so you can play your your True Drop again. If that's what you're saying. Yeah. 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 So that seems like a lot of just free power and um, being able to do that. Yeah. Uh, and bodies and attacks and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And when I, w- I went against the Red Broly deck, and mm-hmm. he instantly held on to a Violent Rays kind of mm-hmm. expect them to end my turn with just having the seven drop eight yeah but he didn't realize that all my guys are 16 15 and 19 going in that the violent rays actually didn't even do anything yeah for sure for sure um and yeah so some other some other text in this deck uh that i saw uh, you did add a unison. I, I do know like, it's it's really tempting because this is a, a vegeta gt so there's already synergy inherently with this guy uh, to help out uh, but how did how did uh, the unison fare for this deck? The at first I was using the Gogeta one to mm-hmm. kind of filter through more. Um, yep. I was more kind of worried about the whole Dark Broly part because a bunch of thirty Ks is not <laughs> scary really easy to deal with. <laughs> so I figured <laughs> I figured if I can just play him on turn two and stall out for an extra turn, I could kind of go all in with one of the combos and hopefully stall out mm-hmm. so uh, against for Vessel 1 I may change it to a different unison but mm-hmm. I mean it's a pretty good unison you really can't go wrong with Vegeta yeah, I agree. and then ironically the uh, counterplay is a GT so it already goes with it yeah 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 for sure definitely because a lot of them you know they don't call out for specifically red Vegeta GTs just GTs so mm-hmm um, cool. Um, and I think that's the main thing. You know, obviously, Zamasu is a really powerful super combo. Uh, Counter Blast and Gohan, a powerful super combo as well. You have some protection with Baby Ventral Blow, just in case, um, you know, one of your uh, babies with 30k power and your barriers removed, which is either, you know, either big big boys, the 7 drop or the 6 drop. Uh, you're running uh, Heroines, uh, Heroines Lineage as your secret rare. I know this card's gotten really popular lately. Is uh, Do you think this is still the right secret rare for this deck? Yeah, I think a lot of decks, obviously if you don't have the Kai, you kind of have to find a different secret. Mm-hmm. But, it, I mean, to steal any 7 drop or less battle card, if it doesn't have barriers, mm-hmm. insane. Yeah. In, in any card game, stealing a battle card. Yes. Especially, you can't go all in with a Chompa play with a battle card now because mm-hmm. they could easily just play that and be like, all right, 
I'll beat you next turn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. For sure. And uh, with that one, I only got to use it against a Sin player, mm-hmm. but I was able to take the uh, tournament promo one that uh, whenever oh. I played a battle card, I just instantly put it to rest mode. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it was, it was kind of like a way to counter the Cell Xeno if he did a Cell Xeno play. Mm-hmm. Nice. But, yeah. But yeah, the, the Seeker is definitely there. Good, good. Uh, cool. Well, I think we've got the the main uh, reasoning in plays. What would you say uh, is your your standard or your uh, expected turn one, two, three for this deck? The the goal for turn one is to charge any multicolor and play Mew, obviously, because mm-hmm. it's a free play. Yeah. You just kind of great if you know a card game, Graceful Charity, draw three, discard two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because um, Mew uh, Mew finds Baby, and then when Baby's played. You got to draw three and discard two, which is very good. In turn two, you kind of have to play how your opponent is. If they're playing more of an aggressive deck, you may just want to pass and kind of sit on Topo or something. Or mm-hmm. if you play the Vegeta, and if they're doing high bow- energy battle cards, and you just do that to stall out. Mm-hmm. But if they're playing Tempo, you kind of try and establish a small little board. And then turn three is usually your kill shot turn. yeah and yeah and you don't you usually try not to awaken until turn three either correct yeah no you don't want to awaken super early because mm-hmm. once you awaken you're kind of all in especially when you're at low life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you just gotta kind of play around that yeah but you do get such a bur- i mean being able to draw to untap to is such a burst and especially when you know you get to play you know ss force and goku potentially for free and pan for free Especially since Pan means that your your Goku has like dual attack, uh, just a lot of that's just very good. Yeah, you just have a lot of drawing and searching. Let's mm-hmm. Wave can search for any top. With the amount of babies you run, you almost never whiff. Mm-hmm. I maybe whiffed once, but chances of whiffing is so slim. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Then you got your Overrealm to draw more cards. It's just yeah. How many times did you go into the the big six drop red ape? Uh, I didn't, unfortunately. Yeah. It was just it was good uh, fodder for evil origins. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I guess I thought it would work. Yeah. Do you think uh, do you think it should stay in the main, or do you think you take it out from this build? Yeah, I'd probably take it out from the best of one. Okay. If I did keep it in, I'd probably max out for the seven drop just to mm-hmm. go into that. But I don't want to do too many multicolors because. You don't yeah. want to have too many ten Ks. For sure, for sure. Yeah, and I can I can definitely you know, especially in best of three, uh, I think it'd be a good idea. Like this would be more of a counter card than a I think main deck if you if you have that option. So you can see just putting yeah. two copies there. Uh talking about that though, we also talked about some other cards. If this was best of three and some potential cyborg cards, uh you re- mentioned uh, Super Baby Two, Vengeful Finisher, so this is uh promo card when this card is played is this that's the correct one right the uh the four drop the the five drop oh the five drop yeah the vengeful rampage vengeful rampage oh wrong wrong vengeful one my bad <laughs> no, how could there's i there's so many same babies it's yeah. kind of hard to keep track of which one mm-hmm mm-hmm uh, so, okay, so this is the uh, Aix Evolve for one red, one yellow on a yellow bay with any cost of three, which you you kind of get out in this deck a lot easier than probably the traditional one because you just do the Baby Janimba into the three drop into this guy. has Offering 2, which means that you can search him with the, the Baby Janimba as well. Uh, and then auto when you play this card, choose all your opponent's battle cards, ignoring bearer, and for the duration of the turn, skills are negated and they can't be placed in combo areas uh, from your opponent's battle against dual attack for duration of the turn. So it's definitely a viable choice. I mean, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. if you go against Invoker, obviously they have a way of kind of stopping the whole play, but if they don't see it coming. I mean, yeah. the whole deck is just price factor at this point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I couldn't tell you how many times people are like, wait a second, I have to read what that does. Wait yeah. a second. Yeah. Which, especially like on webcam, is like a, a different, another step of just like, okay, I got to go look it up, read, and yeah, for sure. Mm hmm. So uh, it's definitely a viable choice. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and you can do like a play of like playing. You know, if you already have the yellow Janib out turn three, uh, you can ex evolve on top of it. Or um, yeah, the, sorry, the baby on turn three. Ex evolve on top of it, 
uh, to get this guy out, and then awaken after that to get the uh, the other great ba ape baby out. And you can do one swing, and then also uh, on top of that, you know, his offering, and then you can go like I can just I can already theory craft just how much pressure this this deck could do with with all that. Like, see, now we're gonna see you start using this deck. I I mean, I got the cards. We'll have to we'll have to really see. Uh, and then uh, the other card you talked about, um, Bow to the Death, is you know it's just a, a fantastic extra card to active main. If you leave a card yellow, choose up three cards from your life, add them to your hand, then choose up to one of your opponent's bow cards. Ignoring Barry gets minus twenty five k power for the duration of the turn. So. Yeah, I mean, if you don't run into this, because that's another way to self awaken. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't get into the seven drop, instantly take three life, two life, whatever you need to. And, mm -hmm get your combos going yeah because you don't you don't really need to go in the seven drop for this deck because you do have a bunch of these these smaller plays that you know, once again the baby janemba loop is is really nice to do with the three drop baby and we also have super baby won the conqueror where if you leave cards yellow baby you know if your opponent has uh two or more cards in their or is that two or more cards from life to their hand or drop here this turn you get to play it from your from your hand for free which is super nice uh which this is also another three drop baby so you can go into the other dude pretty easily too that we just talked about right the the five drop one yeah exactly so it's not like it's hard to bring out a three drop yellow baby now it's pretty mm -hmm. easy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh cool all right i think i've talked about the these decks obviously there's there's more plays we haven't even talked about but i think this gives uh, a pretty good insight to that uh real quick uh can you talk about the matches you've you've faced and maybe maybe instead of um like maybe your hardest matchup, uh, you you did go six one, so maybe the, the matchup that you lost, uh, and then probably what what do you think the strength of this deck is playing against other decks? Um, the deck I lost to was Android thirteen. Mm. He uh, he was able to sack me more than I could sack him, mm -hmm. so uh, I I almost got it. But hand hand destruction was uh, definitely an effect because once you discard a piece. It's kind of hard to realize. Oh, which piece should I discard and mm -hmm. get the wrong piece? And yeah, I lost cause... to Android thirteen. Yeah. Um, the hardest matchup was probably the blue baby I went against mm -hmm. because, I mean, when they have negates for days, it's mm -hmm. nothing's going to get through. Yeah, and then also also just being able to like have to having to fear them just saying counterplay trunks on whatever you're doing, uh, can be can be pretty stressful. I bet. Well, well yeah, the counterplay trunks. He did do that, yeah. but he didn't realize that. I mean, when I'm at three energy, a lot of the other battle cards actually are lower. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't going to go tall; I was going wide. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was like a small topo kind sure. of situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Um, I went against the tricolor launch. Mm -hmm. That that one was pretty easy. I was able to get my combo super early and when it's already at 10k leader when i take five life mm -hmm. it's already uh he can't really out combo that's right attacks. yeah because uh yeah because the great a uh great a baby uh yeah you just add cards to your hand and make it 5k and like yeah once again launch is already smaller than average on on power so yeah, so when I attacked with my one drop Mew, one drop baby, they're actually mm -hmm. beast beast attack. Yes. To a negative. Yes, for sure, for <laughs> sure. I went against Sin Shenron. It was just I I didn't do anything for the first couple of turns. I just let him take his own life and mm -hmm. attack me, mm -hmm. and then I just did one big play, and he didn't have the Nimbus. Mm -hmm. I went against Red Broly. He wasn't able to turn two kill me, so. He was sitting on violent rays, expecting it to save him another turn, but I was able to push through. The OG Broly, I was able to get through two different dormants, surprisingly, oh, so wow. I don't even know how I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I did it, but I went through two different dormants, and somehow mm -hmm. I still pushed through. Yeah, I mean, it's... You know, this deck is probably a little bit counter... Especially because, like, if they swing... Like, you play Dr. Mew and Baby, and then you just... Dormant, like literally stops your attacks and there's you know almost always two targets for to get hit by that so um yeah yeah it was definitely like broly would have destroyed me i don't know how i did it but mm -hmm. he, he didn't get his pieces or something yeah yeah 
And then I went in against Gogeta Zeno. Um, I don't really remember the match overall, but I was able to do my thing. And... Yeah, <laughs> you won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. So, but yeah, Blue, I was surprised I beat Blue Baby with the amount of negates that you had, but mm-hmm. I was able to just power through as much as I could. Yeah, for sure. Well, cool. Yeah, I, I really appreciate uh, you taking the time to talk about this, Dick. You know, obviously, I've been I've gotten excited about the the list just talking to you about it these these past couple of minutes. So, I'll uh, I'll have to dive in and remember how many of these pieces I still own and and see if I can do it. it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, any? Man. Oh, go for it. No, I was saying, man. Next thing you know, you're gonna have something that I didn't even see, and next thing you know, we're gonna start building this deck together. Oh yeah, for sure. I. Uh... <laughs> And then, oh, the last time I did that was someone I placed him. I faced him round one of the, uh, of course. So I'm just like, oh man, where the, I gotta, I can't jinx it again. But yeah, oh okay, all right, yeah, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. I don't want to play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's hard. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't have spice against the person who helped you build the deck. There's no surprises. So uh, exactly. Um. Anyways, I really appreciate it. Any shoutouts before we we close? Um, shout out to G Sports for being a great team and a great sponsor. Um, shout out for my buddy for letting me know that y'all are interested in this deck. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> deck's still alive, so yeah, keep on keep on using it. You never know what's gonna happen. For sure, for sure. Well, once again, really appreciate it. Uh, thank you everyone for stopping by watching this video. Uh, shout out to Thomas. Let him know what you guys think about his list. Any changes you guys would think about or anything you'd, you change, um, just, just let us know, and we'll catch you all next time.